Hello guys, today is the 20th of December 2020, Sunday. Um, so as you can see here, I'm starting um, a new logbook that I will share with everybody. So you're able to see my pics every day. And um, uh, initially um, I have a starting bankroll with 100 units. Um, so this can this equals to everybody's bankroll. Um, then this will be the live bankroll over here and the stake that I will use will be a flat stake of 2% of our bankroll so it will say 2 units here all the time um, and then I, I have, I call it stop loss minus 25% of the initial bankroll but um, this um, we use it uh, only if we use percentage of our bankroll. So right now we're going to use flat stakes, so just for us to be able to judge the um, picks that the software gives us. Um, I followed the software um, for a month and uh, it was positive. The numbers uh, were verified according to the back testing. Um, so I feel confident confident to share the pics over here. Uh, everybody can follow, don't um, stake too much money. Uh, just follow it for one or two months. If there is success for you, you can use it. Uh, but the pics that the software gives me is they're towards value betting. Uh, so that means if you follow each pick, in the long run, uh, you will have profit. We have right now 25 active predictions over here. So those are the predictions from the Erste Dutch League, Excelsior against Kampur. Um, and the software gives us pick the away team to win. So that means that we bet on Kampur to win um, and we bet two uh, units. And the odds um, that uh, the software gives me, the average odds, you can, um, th those odds can vary depending on the bookmaker. So for now, for me, uh, when I do the pick, it's 1.51. So if um, at the end of the day, um, I, I will have all the picks here and at the end of the day, I will uh, update the status, if it's win or not. So if it's win, you see that right now the live bankroll is 110 units. Um, so the total uh, return of investment is 1.02. If we have a loss over here, you see that this updates all the time. Um, and here it counts the hit rate. So we have two bets, one win, one loss, 23 active up to now because we had two that we, we gave the result. Uh, here it counts the yield. So the yield is um, how much money we stake and uh, what the profit we have. So this is the yield. Minus 1.96 means that um, we are minus 1.96% um, less. Uh, so the average odds are here, 1.51, 173, but the average odds are for all those that we have used over here. And um, then uh, here uh, it will be profit, here will be the value that we have, uh, the days that we're, in, we're playing. Uh, and then here will be football, basketball or hockey, those are the leagues, um, the sports that I'm going to give predictions for. Uh, here um, it doesn't matter, uh, those will change in the future, but for now I try with B365, but yeah, anyway. Um, here we have the picks, so um, home picks, uh, draws and away picks, and here will be the uh, percentages of success for those picks as well. So we would be able to judge the software and the picks uh, that it gives us um, in the long run. So I update those to active. And what I have done up to now, and everybody can see it, um, in the comment area, um, you will be able to, to find a link that will take you to this Google Sheet that it's updated automatically according to my Excel file. And um, you can see here exactly what I talked to you. So 100 um, units, starting bankroll. And then here will be all the picks. So you, every day you can come here 
um, see the match, see what peak the software gives us. Uh, here is a probability of this peak according to my AI software. Um, and here are the average matches. So um, this team has played 16 matches and this team has played 16 or this team has played 15 and this team has played um, 17 matches. So here are the average matches. So if average matches are over five, let's say over 10 in reality, we can trust um, the software more. So if um, it's like six or five, because this is NCAA, I keep following it because um, I still have success in NCAA. So it's not that um, uh, trustworthy, but um, I think we, I, I put it in my logbook here. So let's see how it goes. If we see that um, NCAA picks are not, uh, they don't have so big hit rate, uh, then we can uh, delete and don't pick uh, from this league anymore. Uh, but this is a way. We pick leagues, we pick the teams, and we judge according to uh, this list here if we have success or not. If we have success, we follow those. If we don't have success, we don't follow those leagues. This is how we do it. So good luck, everybody. Uh, every day I will update this in the morning. Uh, and then I will update this with results at the end of the day or at the start of next day. Um, in that way, I, I won't uh, have to do a video every day with my picks and the results. Uh, you will be able to follow it, um, all my picks, if you want. Um, those are not guaranteed predictions, I'm telling you again. So those are toward value betting. So in the long run, if you play those, we will have profit. So good luck, everybody. Uh, if you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to write in the comments. Thank you.